Okay, so I've been uh, trying to figure out what are the the rates that work for me instead of always be uh, using the default rates. And I got the thing pretty close to to the default because that's what I. I'm most used to fly with, but uh, yeah, it's like uh, on actual rates, I got it at 200 for the rate, 900 for super rate, and 0.54 for the expo. Uh, that's 163.64.26 if we're talking about beta flight, beta flight rates. So Basically, I got the defaults except for the for the maximum value that you can reach, like uh, like uh, if you go and do a flip or a roll and rotation, I bump it up to 900. And I was just flying around trying to see if I can fly with that, and I can fly. Easily, I'm not gonna mess too much about it. I think it's more important to train my fingers to feel how much I need to push the sticks, rather than uh, I think that a lot more important than actually uh, spend like weeks messing around with numbers and never getting used to it. Because I was already kind of used to the to the default rates, I tried like Joshua Barbo rates, Mr. Steel rates, uh, Stinger Swarm, Bacon Ninja. I tried the rates of all those guys that kind of give their rates on their videos and. Actually, it was not working very well for me. Those might be great rates for great pilots, but I'm kind of used to the to the defaults, and so I think there was way too much control on middle sticks. It wouldn't respond as crisp and as fast as I like. Well, steel rates were too fast, and the others were too slow. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just starting. So this was first pack. Uh, I think I swapped a battery there. Yeah. And for a second flight. It was a bit windy today, and this is the PTO 75, so flying it outside with wind is too bad. There was a car there on top of the parking lot. I kind of wa wanted to, to circle the car. As you can see, she turned around to see the drone. But at the same time, I was thinking that I didn't want it like to crash in the grass next to her. Because then to go and pick it up, I don't know if the animal is like uh, peaceful or if it is um, an angry, like an angry bull, <laughs> an angry cow. I'm not sure. I cannot see in the video whether if it's a bull or a cow. It's like so. I was trying to to get it on camera but at the same time I was trying to maintain like a safety distance. Uh, yep, there it was. It's been like a uh, it had been like a, a week since I had last flown. And uh, I'm not sure if it was because I was using different rates or if, or because I spent a week without flying. I was 
I was flying okay, but at the same time I wasn't having the exact same feel. Probably that's due to the rates, even though they don't change too much on the the expo and the and the stick centering. So and the, also I was not using a patch on my goggles this time. I was using two Omnis. Uh, one from Menace RC and the other one uh, Foxier, I think. Uh, I was using two Omnis because I wasn't like flying very long on a straight distance. That's when you you use a patch. But if I'm going going to fly around me, most of the times I can probably get a better signal with two Omnis than with one Omni and one patch. Patch only works well if you're gonna go straight in one direction to which you are pointing. The your face, your goggles, the the patch antenna. Otherwise, I guess two omnis work better. I don't have any stubby those little ones, those zombies. I tried to roll here. But rolling on the inside without being high enough didn't work too well. Tried it twice. I think I didn't roll enough to finish the roll, as you can see. Yeah, I didn't roll enough. I should have held the stick a bit more, like some more milliseconds to go for a complete turn. But it's spinning faster than it was. But as I said, my fingers are, are still not used to the to the rates, and so I wasn't holding the stick long enough. That's what I think. That it's that's where I think it is a lot more important to just fly and fly and fly packs and more packs and practice and get like. Uh, like my fingers to get used to like how do they call it uh, uh, st stick memory finger finger stick memory I don't I'm not sure but I think it's more important to train my fingers than to actually be always messing around with the with the rates if you just ch change the rates every every day and you never get used to them I don't think that will be effective. So, just flying around a third pack. Yeah, landed. Uh, as far as I can remember, at this moment I landed because the goggles weren't like set correctly on my face. I wasn't seeing very clearly. Then I just moved the goggles a little bit around and the image become a lot greater. I think that. A lot uh, clearer. I mean, I think that I, I had put my goggles on my face and like, I'm not sure why I was in a hurry and they weren't like properly aligned with my my sight. And then another another circling around. There we go. Pretty much coming to the end of this video. And it's nothing special, it's just FPV practice and practice and practice and uh yeah that's it. I think I went into the car like twice. I tried to run over under it, not sure. And that was Mm. I think that's when I tried to fly under the car. Hit it there, pulled a bit back, went around the pillar and tried once again, this time I made it all the way to the other side and then just landed because I was having like low back warnings 
and that's it.